Hello and welcome to this collective worship session. Today I want to continue to think about the Easter season, which we do in the church calendar, as we remember Jesus rising from the dead. For us in the church, it's the best day of the year. It's the day when we remember that death has been conquered, that Jesus lives forever and is with us day by day, caring for us, loving us. Our chocolate may be long gone from Easter, or if you're really good, you might still have some left. But whatever, we still celebrate that Easter season, wherever we are. And I want to tell you a story about a man called Eric who had a wonderful car. He absolutely loved this car. It was the pride of his life, it really was. And he used to take it out for a drive day by day, just to show off, really, just to show what an amazing car it was. He also had a next door neighbour called Frank, who he didn't really like very much at all. And the problem was that Frank had a big tree in his garden and the tree kept dropping leaves and bits on the, on the car. And Eric got really upset about this, so he wouldn't speak to Frank at all. Frank would smile at him and Eric would just turn away. And then he would go out and clean his car once again. Over and over again he would clean his car because of these leaves dropping on it. Over and over again he would walk past the smiling Frank with a glare on his face, not really looking at him if he could help it. It wasn't very nice. But one day he went out to drive his car and he was driving along, showing off a little bit with his windows open and his music coming out of the sound system. And suddenly there was a rattle. He drove on for a little bit longer and there was another rattle. Drove on again and suddenly the car stopped. There was a big bang and smoke started to come out of the engine. Eric panicked. He was really worried he got out of the car. He opened the bonnet and had a look to see if he could see what was wrong. But he didn't really know too much about cars, so he couldn't do anything with it. Fortunately, there was a garage just down the road, so he walked to the garage and he spoke to the mechanic there. And the mechanic came out and had a look at the car and he said, no, you need this particular part and we don't stock that particular part, so we can't do anything for you. Eric was really upset, so he walked home. And in the garden, sure enough, there was Frank, smiling once again. And Frank said, unusual for you to be walking, Eric. Where's your car? So Eric explained to him the problem with the car. Frank looked at him for a moment and said, I used to have a car exactly the same as yours. And I think I've got the part that you need. And off he went to his shed. His shed was covered in leaves. He didn't often go into his shed. And at the back of his shed, he found a box also covered in leaves. And in the box was the very part that Eric needed for his car. Eric looked at the part, but said, I don't know what to do with it. I don't know how to fit it. But Frank said, I do know how to do it. So Frank and Eric went off down to the road and found the car again. And Frank fitted the part that Eric needed and the car started to work again. It was a reminder that people can sometimes surprise us with how good they can be. Frank was getting nothing out of Eric. Frank had been ignored by Eric. Frank had had nasty looks off Eric, but he still wanted to be kind to him. He still wanted to help him when he needed it. And Eric's mood towards Frank suddenly changed. But actually at Easter time, we remember Jesus doing something for all of us by dying on the cross. He took away all of the things that we do wrong sometimes and said, I love you. And when he came back to life, he reminded us of that fact, that he loves us, that he cares for us, that he walks alongside us every day but also that he wants us to be a bit more like him. When Jesus was dying on the cross, he said some words. He said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. By this, he meant the people that had put him on the cross, the people that had hung him on that horrible cross to die. He asked that they be forgiven. And this is a great reminder of how much Jesus cares for everyone. Whatever we've done, whether we've been pretty horrible, whether we've been really naughty, whether we've failed to care for people as we should care for them, Jesus continues to love us. But he also says to us, try and get better. Try and be a bit more like me. 
Frank helped Eric when he didn't need to. He didn't need to do anything because he wasn't going to get anything in return for it. Jesus doesn't really get anything in return for all the good things that he does for us, except that he cares for us. So he wants to have a relationship with us and he wants us to have a relationship with each other where we can be kind, where we can be good, where we can support and help one another. And we can always turn to him when we struggle to do those things and he will help us. Let us pray. Lord, help us to be kind. Help us to remember Jesus and his love for us and the good things that he does for us day by day. The fact that he walks alongside us, the fact that he cares for us, the fact that he loves us. Help us to care for other people too. Help us to try and see what is good in other people, to try and be friends with all. This prayer we say in Jesus' name, Amen. We join together as Jesus taught us in saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.